So Nick Cannon, aka Fill the World with Babies, is back in the news again, and this time it's not from having another kid with a different woman. I mean, it's still related to kids, but this time he is being called out for being a deadbeat dad. One of his first baby mamas, Mariah Carey, has had enough of him not giving enough time to their kids and is dragging him for being an absent father. Mariah has made it clear that all she wants for Christmas and beyond is for her ex-husband and baby daddy Nick Cannon to step up his baby daddy duties. We all know that Nick Cannon hasn't been playing safe. It's almost like he's on a mission to fill the world with babies because of the way he's been popping them out since forever. But wait, does this call out by Mariah mean that those TikTok videos and reels that he's been posting aren't what we think they are and he's just faking them? We all know that Nick Cannon and Mariah Carey got married in April of 2008 and they have a set of beautiful twins, Moroccan and Monroe, together before they divorced in November 2016. After the divorce, Nick has had nine other children with different women and is now expecting the 10th one. In case you've been living under a rock, he just welcomed his baby number 11 with Abby De La Rosa. And just a few days after he's announced that baby's arrival, model Alyssa Scott took to social media to announce that she is pregnant with his 12th child. Yes, you heard me right. More babies are still coming. Truth is, Mariah is not in the dark about all these kids Nick has, but as a concerned mother, her major interest is that as a father, Nick should carve out more time for their kids because even though they are divorced, they are still co-parents. And she can't play both roles to the kids, especially not when Nick is still very much alive and healthy. And according to the source close to Mariah, she has made it very clear that Cannon needs to make sure that their twins, Moroccan and Monroe, still get to see their dad as much as possible, even though he has a number of other kids to spend time with as well. I mean, I'm gonna need Mariah to realize that he got 12 kids and there's only 12 months in the year. So when I do the math, that's like one kid per month and they got two. So that's like she got two months in the year. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm just saying. But another source told Rander Online, Nick thinks it's crazy wonderful having all these kids and the same source still claims that Nick is prepared to keep up with his busy schedule due to the needs of his growing family. So there is actually no doubt that Nick is trying to keep up with the kids, but but the issue and question here is, what if two or more kids at different locations need their daddy's attention or presence at the same time? What will Nick do since he is just one person? During his appearance on Checkup with Dr. David Agus, Nick admitted that he feels guilty for his absence in his kids' lives. And he said, being a father of multiple kids, it's always the biggest guilt on me. I don't get to spend enough time with my children. One, cause I'm constantly working and two, because I'm just spread thin. It really doesn't look like Nick is thinking about the huge demand resting on a father of numerous children and within such a close age range and so far apart. He clearly stated that he pays more than three million on child support annually. When asked by the US Sun if he truly pays more than three million on child support annually, he said, I definitely spend a lot more than that on my children annually. I don't plan to ever have to participate in the governmental system of child support. But the truth is that it's not always about the money. Money can never suffice care and attention. And funny enough is that this is not the kind of thing you can ask your assistant to step in for. How do you split time or how often will he be able to come see his son? I mean, that all obviously dictates what's going on in his work schedule, mm -hmm. um, but he's great. Um, we all can go through the assistant to make sure it's on the calendar if there's something important. Mm -hmm. um, now, no one should blame Mariah for speaking up for her children because if Nick plans to spread his seeds all over the earth to keep his legacy alive, or for the reason that some people say, which is to make sure he has a kidney transplant in the future for his lupus, that's his business. But it's also necessary that he makes himself available for them all, even though it might be hard considering his demanding career but if you go through nick's instagram page you will notice that he is constantly posting different reels of himself and his kids the question on many people's minds is are all these reels real <laughs> or is this just for the gram because truth be told family time shouldn't always be video time or tiktok time but it looks like there might be some truth to this because recently one of nick's baby mamas lanisha cole didn't hold back and confirm the theory that the countless posts that nick does on instagram is fake 
and just for social media. After Nick posted some photos of him spending time with some of his baby mamas and their kids, Lanisha took to IG and shared a story of their kid Onyx and wrote, incredibly blessed and is surrounded by so much love. And it's not fake IG photo op love, it's real day in day out love. Then she uploaded another story where she said, there's no need to mention me or send anything to my DMs. It has nothing to do with me and no need to be messy. It's all love over this way. But come to think of it, Mariah and Lanisha are not the only ones who hinted at Nick's inconsistency in the lives of their kids. Remember when Brie Tisha, another one of Nick's baby mamas, made a post on IG saying she hasn't had a good night's rest because the baby keeps crying at night and a concerned IG user DM'd her and told her to get a night nurse so she can rest well and she in turn asked him if he will cover the bill for that night nurse and this made the user question Cannon's involvement in his children's lives although Bree definitely followed up with I don't need your unsolicited advice thanks you have some bleeping nerve and then she said keep my parents in my kid and my baby daddy's name out your mouth okay Nick is not my sugar daddy Nick is my bleeping child's father that's all watch your bleeping mouth when you speak Speak all mine. So I guess it's safe to say that Nick can't be there for all of them at all times. <laughs> But Nick has already made it clear during the discussion with Men's Health that despite everything being said about him online, he is very present in his kids' lives. According to him, contrary to popular belief, I'm probably engaged throughout my children's day more often than the average adult can be. If I'm not physically in the same city with my kids, I'm talking to them before they go to school via FaceTime and stuff. And then when I am in the same city, I'm driving my kids to school, like making sure I pick them up. Here's the thing. I don't think Nick is lying at all. I actually do think that he does these things when he's in the city and I do think he calls his kids. However, when you have one kid or two kids, they're still going to feel some type of a way when you're not around. So the fact that he has 12, if Nick is in one city and he picks up that one kid in that one city in that one week, he still got 11 other kids that's not being picked up for half the year. <laughs> so as I said before, I really do believe that he's not realizing the weight of the situation of having a dozen children. Like really, one person said it perfectly when they said, my mom only had two kids and worked two jobs and I used to cry when she went to work. Imagine 11 kids in multiple households across the country. Thank you. Like, y'all feel me? This man has a full-time career. He don't have a full-time job. He could have had 12 conversations this week with each kid. That's still one conversation per kid. He could have went to 12 different cities in one month to see all his kids. That's still seeing all of them one time. You have 12 kids, bro. You will never be enough. You, one person, one father, will never be enough for 12 kids. <laughs> you will always be a deadbeat dad to a lot of these women because they're seeing you once. That's it. That's my take, y'all. What do y'all think? Is Mariah being selfish for calling him out or is she right in this situation? What do you think is the truth here? Leave your thoughts in the comment section. And if you think this tea is hot, <laughs> wait till you see this next one. Peace.